Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play an old Bill Withers song called Ain't No Sunshine. And it starts on an A minor chord. And the way you play A minor, first finger is going to go B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go D string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from, from the A minor chord, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. The way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all the strings with that, that sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from E minor, we're going to be going to a G major chord, and the way you play G major, first finger is going to stay on the A string, second fret. Second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from G major, we're going to be going back to the A minor. And then we kind of do another A minor. And then we kind of start that over again. We got A minor, E minor, G major, A minor, A minor, A minor, E minor, G major, A minor, A minor. And then we go to E minor, E minor. And then we go to D minor. And the way you play D minor, first finger is going to go to the high E first fret. Second finger is going to go G string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B string on, on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, just the skinny four strings, that sounds like D minor. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the D minor, we're going, to, we're going to go right back to the A minor. And then we got an E minor, G major, A minor, A minor. But a lot of times with this song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding what, what I call a strum pattern to it. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. Which could work through this song, we'll talk about a more interesting strum pattern in a minute. The weird part is on the E minor and G, we'd be half in that. So on the E minor, you're just going to do down, down, up. And on the G, we're going to do down, down, up. But just to try the whole strum pattern, it is a down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A minor and just did that a lot. We have down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we could kind of do that through, through the whole tune that way. The weird part is the E minor is a G's kind of half. So you'd have A minor with down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, G. through this song but a lot of times with this song it has more of a 16th note strum pattern kind of feel and what I mean by that is the down down up up down up is kind of where you're tapping your foot and dividing that into, into two parts for your down ups so one two one two that's called an eighth note if you divided that that foot tap into four parts one two three four one two three four one two three we call that a 16th note and one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Which you can kind of get to work with a couple modifications through this song. But what I mean by that is like if you took the A minor and just did a long down for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what we would do on the first beat. And then from there on the second beat we'd be doing a down on one, a down on three, and an up on four. So we'd have kind of one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the third beat, you'd be doing an up on two and a down on three. So you'd be going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the last beat, you'd be going down, up, down, up, um, right along with the one, two, three, four. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up. You got long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down,
A minor, E minor, G uh, at the very beginning kind of go together. And one way to do that would be doing half the strum pattern on the A minor, doing a long down, down, down up on the A minor, and then when you go to the E minor, doing a down, down up, and then the G major with a down, down up, and then you'd have the whole strum pattern on the, on the, on the A minor at the end. So just to try it all the way through that way, and this, this is kind of the weird part is where you got the A minor. Hey man, what's up? Uh, I'm working, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So if we kind of try that just a lot on that first part. You have the A minor with a long down, 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 up, E minor, down, down, G, down, down, up. So that's kind of the tricky part. A minor down, 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 E minor down, down, G, down, down, up. And then we have the A minor with the whole strum pattern at the end. A minor. Pattern E minor, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, D minor, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then we go back to that first part where we have the A minor, down, down, E minor, down, down, G, down, down, E minor, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then we basically just be repeating that. One other thing is at some point Bill Withers kind of gets to kind of a stop time thing for, for the I know, I know, I know that part. And, and for that part, really, it, the voice is kind of, it, it's really kind of a cappella, but you could add in the notes that he's kind of singing that. So you can actually kind of play the G and A notes that Bill Withers is actually singing. And there are a lot of different places on the guitar to play G's and A notes. But one place you could do it is going to the low E on the third fret, and then going to fifth fret on the low E for, for kind of the A notes. So you got G, A, 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 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5. Or you could go to fifth fret on the D string to seventh fret on the D string, and then you'd have five seven five seven five seven G A G A G A G A. Or you could go to eighth fret on the B string and do it between eight and ten on the B string. Eight ten eight ten eight ten eight ten eight ten eight ten eight ten. Or you could go all the way to fifteen and seventeenth fret on the high E, and kind of have a G and A that way. G A G A G A G A G A. So that could be kind of cool to try and add that to it too. And then there are also some really cool lead licks that kind of happen later on in the tune. And the first one kind of happens 5th fret to, to the 7th fret is a hammer on the A string. So you go 5 on the A and kind of put the finger down on, onto this fifth, the 7th fret on the A string to kind of carry the sound. That's called a hammer on. And then you go to 5th fret on the D string. And that's kind of the A minor lick is that 5, 7, 5. And then on the E minor, if you just kind of hold down just the 2nd fret on the A string, and then play E, A, D, or uh, yeah, E, A, D is kind of an arpeggio. We're going open E, second fret on the A, open D, and then you can take your second finger and play third fret on, on, the, a, on the low E string and kind of do that same thing with the pick, that low E, A, D string. So you got open two O, oh, three two O, oh, and then you could kind of play open E, or then we go back to the five, seven, five. So you have five, seven, five, Oh, two, oh, three, two, oh, five, seven, five. And so that like you'd have the five, seven, five hammer on, and then five on the D, and then oh, two, oh, three, two, oh, five, seven, five. Da 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 da. Five, seven, five. Oh, two, oh, three, two, oh, five, seven, five. And then when you get to the E minor part, there's kind of a cool it where you go open E, and then five, and then six on the A string and then kind of turn it into the 575 hammer roll. So you got open 5675. Five, and then you could kind of do the open E again and then do the 3 to 5 hammer roll on the A string and then the third fret on the D for the D minor part. So you got your E minor open E 5675 five, and then the open E 353. Three, to, to that 5 7 5 hammer off for the A minor and then the arpeggio for the E minor, the G, A minor. But one thing that Bill Withers kind of does is instead of using the pick for the chord progression at the beginning, um, in the live versions it sounds like he's kind of doing finger style. 
And what you could do is kind of take and to kind of simulate that is doing the A minor. And then a lot of times with fingerstyle, your thumb becomes the bass player, and then your index, middle, and ring kind of get lined up for the G string, B string, and the E string. So what you could do to start it off is kind of do the open A as a bass note, and then do just the G, B, and E at the same time with the fingers, like with index, middle, ring. So you'd have kind of bass, index, middle, ring on the A minor. That's kind of an intro. And then when he comes in with the verse, you do the A minor with kind of a bass chord, bass chord. And then you go to E minor and then change basses to the low E string with the thumb, keeping the index middle ring on the top three. And then going to the G major chord, doing the low E for the bass on that chord, and then index middle ring for the top three strings. And then you're back to the A minor, kind of that bass chord. So if you're doing it that way, from the verse, you have bass, chord, bass, chord, E minor, bass, chord, G, bass, chord, A minor, bass, Da -de -da -da -da. A minor with the A bass, A minor chord, A bass, chord, E minor with the low E bass, chord, G with the low E bass, chord, A minor with the bass, chord. And then when you get to your E minor part, the E minor, E minor, D minor, D minor, you're doing the E minor chord with the low E bass, and we do that four times. And then with, for the D minor, you're doing the D string for the bass. going back to the A minor part from the beginning. So the A minor bass chord and then the E minor bass chord, G with the low E bass chord, A minor with the A bass chord. And then you kind of start all that over again. So you got A bass chord and bass chord on the A minor, E minor with the low E bass chord, G with the low E bass chord, A minor with the A bass chord. And then you do it again. <laughs> A minor with the A bass chord, bass chord, E minor with the low E bass chord, G with the low E bass chord, A minor with the A bass chord. And then when you do your E minor part, then you got E minor with the low E bass, chord, bass, chord, bass, chord, bass, chord, E minor with the D bass, chord, bass, chord, bass, chord, bass, chord. Then you got the first part, A minor with the bass, chord, bass, chord, E minor with low E bass, chord, G with low E bass, chord, A minor with A bass, chord. So that might be something else you, you might want to play around with because it can sound really, really cool like that with the finger stop. But that's the basics of how you can play Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. So good luck!